all right in this episode number 72 we are going to check whether the internet is connected or not with javascript you can see my internet is connected so we are getting the green signal on the taskbar also you will see the wi-fi signal is uh, saying that it is connected now if i simply disconnect it and check it should say it should give a message now i have disconnected it now you see it says internet is not connected now let me connect this again now it's connected now again if i disconnect it for disconnecting it is taking some time i think it's it's checking it uh, this is uh, this is running without page refresh now if i connect you can see i have not page refreshed it so now it's connected so this is what we are going to get you are going to see in this tutorial uh, to follow along i leave the source code in the description uh, this is a google drive link you will get it in the description so in case if you got stuck somewhere you can just copy paste the code and start along with me now this is episode number 72 if in case if you are interested in learning similar projects uh, i have almost uh, 71 video 72 videos in the vanilla javascript project i'll leave this link in the description i would recommend you to start from zero and st end uh, on the 71st so this is this will be like incrementing incrementing uh, starting from beginner and uh, as we progress it is going to get tough and uh, will be in the intermediate uh, level of javascript skills fine now, now without wasting time let's start UI. so to create the ui we need three files let me create these three files on the same folder i'm going to name this as index2.html and uh, style2.css and script2.js the reason for giving two is because we already have a file named index style and uh, script that's the reason we are doing this now template let me just copy the HTML template it's just a simple line of code now we have linked the font awesome we have linked the style sheet and now we have a main div which is called wrapper inside the wrapper we have toast this toast holds two children the first one is content and the second one is close this close is very simple this close has a font awesome icon close font awesome icon close and then this content has a font awesome icon and a text that's it for the HTML let me just get into the CSS and for the CSS I'm going to use the font called Poffins and the Poffins weight 600 is applied on all element that's the reason I have given star and I have removed the margin and padding and I have added the font awesome icon for all element and uh, I have removed the box sizing as border box now let me show you how does this page looks like copy this paste it we have prefix the name as 2 so this is how it looks without CSS now we have we are going to call the body and give the background to it just adjust the color and then whatever is there inside the body I want it to be at the center so display flex align item center justify content center now to make the align atom work we need to give the height of 100 viewport height cool let me just zoom in now let's work on this now we have a wrapper let me style the wrapper as background color white and padding top bottom top bottom 20 pixel left and right 10 pixel and let's have the background border radius as 10 pixel and let's give the width of 450 pixel don't be too much 350 would be right and whatever is there inside the wrapper I want it to be display flex actually uh, to we need to give with display flex to the parent with two children here the ch two, two children is inside toast now if we give display flex it would work and uh, justify content we need space between to both elements so that's why space between cool 
now inside the toast we have a span tag with class close we'll give background as something grayish as we will modify it and a padding of 10 pixel on all sides and border radius 50 percentage so it would be a circle now to make this a uh, perfect circle we need to give the width and height same let me make this 20 pixel width and 20 pixel width and height and whatever is there inside the close again we need to make it center so again display flex would work cool now let me just change the color to see how does it looks actually and we can give padding 20 pixel 15 pixel and I want this to be pointer so cursor pointer cool now let's work on this we have toast inside toast we have a span tag that is span tag we have i let's give background color green padding 15 pixel border radius 50 percentage so it would be a circle and if it's too much we can reduce the padding to 8 and now we can change the color to we are going to add white to a color so we are tinting the color if we add black so it would be called shading cool that works almost same now let's work on the logic part now the internet is active so you can see the green now let's make this let's disable the Wi-Fi and check it is connecting and you should see the text change and the image uh, the green color need to be off red without the page reload let me check it's actually working it says internet is also so actually it is connected on its own disconnect so I think I have disconnected it we are seeing the error is stopped now it started giving error so this is what we are going to do it do it now now let's get into it so what I made is I have uh, since we are using Ajax we need this to be on the local host I am using XAMPP I, will, I would recommend you to run on a local server or else you won't work now let's open our file now we need to we, do, we are not going we are going to we are not going to add this functionality close let me get into index Two dot HTML. Let me zoom in. Now we are going to add a class to this fan called connected, and we are going to modify the CSS accordingly. So where is screen? Here it's screen. Let me just copy paste it here. Now let's delete this wrapper with class toast has content and inside the content we have a span with class connected span with class connected and it will have the class which will have the color green if it if the class is not connected camel case it is going to be red let me refresh this at present it's just connected let me try repl replacing the connected with not connected and check the result not working yes hard refreshing is the point now the problem is we just have to focus on the eye not the whole span tag it works now let's just make this the tinted color 
Okay, the internet is down. That's why the font or some icon is not working. Refresh this. And here you go. I think we have to change the background color. It is giving problem. Let's just make this slightly yellowish. Now let's just make this connected itself. Cool. Now let's work on this JavaScript. First, we have to link the script file. Link. Actually, it's script source. Script two dot js. Now let's open our script file. Now we need to call the span type because we are going to modify document dot query selector. And uh, we have span tag, which is inside content. So actually, we can just we are just going to modify the content of this span tag, or we can just call the con content itself, and we'll use JavaScript to take care of it. Let's store this into a variable called content. Now we are going to add a event listener. Once the page loads. We need to detect that. So window dot on load. This function will detect arrow function. Console dot log page loaded. Refresh this. Let me get into console. Refresh this. So it says page loaded. So we have detected the page load. Now we need to add. A, we need to uh, send a request to a particular URL and we are going to see whether we are getting the actual result or not. So to get uh, to send the request we will be using Ajax. So function I'm going to create a function called Ajax. So it will be called automatically once the page loads. Console dot log Ajax function called. So once the page load Ajax function is going to get called. Now here we need to create an object of the objects. So XML uh, HTTP request. And we are going to create an object XML HTTP request. And this has four functions. XML XML. This object has four function: open, then send. Then we have two functions as well: on load. We'll be checking it whether we are getting request or not on error. We'll be checking it whether we are getting error or not or with this function. So on the open, we need to s we have three parameters. The first one is we are going to give get request, and the second one is the URL, and the third one is the boolean value which is true. And the URL, this is the URL. This is a fake URL. If you enter it, you'll be getting a fake JSON. So if you're getting JSON, that means this uh, URL is working. If you are not getting JSON, if I try to make this some spelling mistake, you'll be getting an error. So that means by this, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to check whether the internet is working or not. Now, we are, pa we are going to check console.log. So if I, I have showed you by passing the URL here and getting the request, let me do it. Let me get the value on the console. So we can do this by accessing the object with the response. So now you're getting the, you're getting you'll get the same JSON in the console. So that means it is working. So now we need to check two things. The first one is if there is connection, then we will be getting the code called 200. If there is no connection, then we will be getting the error called zero. So how we are going to do that? Console dot log e. Now if I refresh it, we'll be getting an object. And here we can check on the current target. Now the internet is connected, so that means you will get the status as 200. So if I purposely make this some wrong URL and the send request, you'll be getting an error. So that's how we are going to identify whether we are connected to internet or not. Now we are going to use the if condition if status status is equal to 200 
the load is E and and the status is uh, less than 300 if it is greater than 300 it's actually x XML request dot xhr dot status if it is less than 300 then uh, console will be checking console dot log yes it's working if not will be getting an error error refresh this now it says it is working let me just randomly put a value and check we are getting the error this is this error is getting launched from here now here we will be calling online function and here offline function so how uh, we are we need to create function the function name is online and we'll be calling this content and we'll be rewriting the con rewriting the html dot inner html equal to backticks and uh, pass the same thing because internet is connected in case if it's offline then just rename the uh, class to not connected so now appropriately we have called it let me just to check whether it's working we'll add the console log working and here not working refresh this and it says not working I think there's a spelling mistake refresh this and it says working now cool now uh, how to detect this e without page loading so for that we'll be using set interval function over here on the page load function so here set interval this set interval will run every time every 500 millisecond now you don't have to you'll see working 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 you don't have to refresh page each time now let me just disconnect this and check actually it's disconnected yes you'll see and internet is connected again we need to make this internet is not connected refresh it so actually you don't have to refresh it it will take care of its own because set interval is running you can see on the console now the same way if I connect this you will see the text and the color need to be changed cool that's working that's what we are the scope of this video is done thank you so much for listening